Hello guys, this is Mustafa Rezali, the first ever Man of the World 2017. I'm from Alexandria, Egypt, and I finished my studies as an accountant. And I started doing modeling back to Dubai, and I won Mr. Congeality in Star Hunt 2017 back to Dubai. And when I won the pageant, I got the chance to represent my country and when I came here, I represented my country as Man of the World Egypt and I got the chance to win the first ever Man of the World 2017. The feeling of winning the Mr. Man of the World is really uh, a feeling that it makes you responsible about the image that you're gonna be with along the history because when I won Man of the World, it was like a history for me and my country as I'm the Muslim who won the first beauty pageant and also in my country, I'm the first male in Egypt to win a beauty pageant. So it's really nice experience and uh, I hope that whoever is going to win 2018 pageant onwards will continue supporting the advocacy which is education and tourism. Man of the World is a very manly pageant who is focusing on a really man who can be responsible about his advocacy and his actions towards the society, me. Man of the World pageant is supporting education and tourism and during my reign I supported a lot of schools and a lot of students who was not able to get well educated by visiting their schools and supporting them by supplies. And for tourism, especially in the Philippines as well, I visit a lot of tourist spots like different islands and different cities, which is really nice here. And especially in the Philippines, I'm a guy who likes nature, so uh, tourism is, was a very special part for me and also the education. Well, for me, I'm not focusing about being famous. Now, my part is supporting my advocacy, so being fame is uh, very easy for any title holder, but for me, I'm just focusing on my advocacy to support most of the students to get well educated. So, while I'm getting not being famous but well known among the students, it's such a blessing for me to like see them on my social media like see them comments and uh, getting being in touch with me is such a blessing for me rather than getting fans who doesn't even know me so it's kind of blessing for me to have an advocacy to support education well the fun fact about me nowadays is I start to learn Tagalog because most of the people here especially my fans they want to see me more in the showbiz so and now I'm learning Tagalog and every time I walk in the street and I speak in Filipino they, they find it funny because I'm still a foreigner and when I try to practice with them Tagalog like what I'm saying Bagandang Gabi bro they was just like surprised especially when I deal with the taxi drivers I, I started to speak in Tagalog and they are the ones who start to speak in English so they, get, they got surprised that I'm speaking in Tagalog so they find it funny For me, I can define empowerment as failure because failure is the first step of success. So don't let failures affect you. Matter of fact, that's the first key for being a successful person in life. As me, as my role, I'm also a motivational speaker on my social media, especially on Instagram, which is Man of the World. I'm always empowering people and always keep posting positive, positive things so they can have um, like uh, positive thoughts about their problems in life and uh, also um, I'm doing my best so I can empower them by my work through my advocacy. Well, what I'm expecting next week in India that there will be a very strong candidate who's going to compete here in the Philippines. And uh, not only in the India, but I have seen a lot of pictures and I heard that there will be a very strong 
challenge here in the Philippines to compete for the title man of the world 2018.